Hi everyone, it's Monique from Butterbee Scraps and I have a mini album to share with you. Um, it's made using the Bow Bunny Weekend Market paper line. So on the cover here, I've got, this is the Tim Holtz Weathered Clock die cut and the hands and I embossed those using the aged black and aged gold embossing and ample by Stupendous and it's the frontage line. The gear in the center of the clock is from the Sprightly Sprocket set from Spellbinders. You can see I've layered some filigrees and gears all around the clock. I've added these bronze menu corners and a keyhole here. On the binding I've added um, four strips of chain and this small charm here. And on the back, I've got this other filigree with a gear, and you can see it's attached to this little clip, which makes a closure for the mini album. Um, I should also note this binding here is leather, and I get my leather from the secondhand store. I buy old leather jackets, pants, that kind of thing, and I cut them up. Cheap, cheap, cheap. You won't find leather for cheaper anywhere else. So going to open it up. I just opted to leave the inside covers plain. This here is the first page, so I just have, you know, a collage of gears and a clock and stuff. I added brads and some metal stitching. I've got this little book here. And there's tags here. And here, and I actually created these tabs with a filigree that was folded in half. So flipping over, we have this little envelope, and it's Velcro closed, and you got another little tag inside. This here's the Tim Holtz um, tape measure ribbon. Flip this open. See back here, I just opted for a simple picture mat. Right here, I've got a pocket, but this thing is really cool, I think. And you've got these tags. Over on the right here, I just paper clipped a couple tags to this page. Open it up, there's another picture mat. And in here, there's a little pocket. And I'm not going to pull all the tags out of the end. They're all pretty much the same, just with a variety of papers. So there's this. Again, this here is a pocket. Got these here. Picture mats. Over on the right, this is the same style as the first page. I've got another... Um, collage of metal, another flip through book. On the left here, this is another flip open. So here I opted just to put a belly band with a couple of tags in it. You can see I got a small arrow on the side. And I've used a variety of brads all in the mini album just to border the pages. this one here. These tags actually come out. This flips open again. There's a picture mat there and another pocket with a tag in it. This flips open. This time I put a pocket at the top. Picture mat here. On the right, another collage, another little booklet. And you can see I've added this stitching with wire along some of the pages. This here, I just put a picture mat. Open it up. And I opted to put picture mats on all those. I didn't want it to get too thick. I mean, it's thick enough as it is. The width of it is three and a half inches. And this is just a waterfall here. 
on the right hand page I've got a couple tags in here Oop. and you can slide tags in the sides and the tops here's another picture mat and again another pocket with the chain along the side here and a little watch mechanism charm there and last but not least is this one this here is all done with gilding flakes and the sticky embossing powder from Ranger so I just put a couple of picture mats in there and the inside back cover I just opted to leave plain again so that's my mini album I hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching um, if you want to see how I actually constructed this mini album I do have a tutorial series on them so I will put links to all the videos down below thanks so much for watching cheers